Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, North Flight Images, and in this short video um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about optimal print driver settings for the Epson P5000. Uh, there is a written article goes with this which has um, actual images that you can look at much easier than you can here, and uh, if you want to check the details have a look at that. I'll put a link in the notes to the video and I'll pop a card up as well to the actual uh, article itself. Um, why am I testing this? Well, first up, you have quite a range of different settings you can use for printing on all printers, and several of them recently uh, that I've reviewed, I've looked at how the very fine detail of uh, prints shows up when you print it at different settings. One of my reasons for looking at this is that there's a sort of popular belief, and it has been a popular belief for years, that you should size your images to some sort of magic number and it works better if you size them to that. Now for Epson printers like this one, it's 360 uh, pixels per inch. Um, you'll notice if you look in the settings of the Epson printers, the smaller Epson printers, they are multiples of 360, so 360, 720, 14, 40, 28, 80, and so on. And these are the amount of detail that the printer puts down. These are connected with the actual dots of ink that go in. Image resolution is slightly different. I won't go into all the details of that, but it, as I said, it's covered in the articles in quite a, quite a lot of detail. And there's lots of examples and explanatory notes in it, which don't really fit in a, in a video. What have I found here? Well, I've printed uh, an image, and it's an image of the Yorkshire Dales, taken with a 50 megapixel camera. So there is masses and masses of detail. Now, each of these little prints here is an image at a different basic resolution and a different print setting. And what it allows me to do when I take photographs, and the photographs here, uh, this photograph on the screen here is just a few millimetres across on this actual print here. So we're looking at very fine detail. You can see the ink drops on it. Now, these are my strongish reading glasses, and even then I can't really focus much closer than about this distance, and I can't see any of these dots. So before you get too worried about detail and stuff like that, be a bit realistic about it, as if anyone's actually going to notice. Um, generally, the bigger the printer, the coarser the resolution is for it. Now, I tested Epson P7500 recently, and that the magic number on that is 300 dots per inch, and that's the resolution of the print head, although it can be multiples of that, so 300, 600, 1200. But for the Epson P5000 and also the P900, P700, and a whole load of other printers, it's 360. So, what I've got is an image that I've printed. Uh, this one was the original source image was at 360 pixels per inch. Now, because this is such a high resolution original image, I'm not having to create detail or do anything. I can resize this to whatever I want and I actually put out the detail of the amount I want. So that is at 360. And if you can see any difference there, that is at 1440. And that is at 2880. Now, if you actually change the uh, settings much, you'll probably, for a lot of images, you won't see much difference. But what I would say, if you want the absolute best quality for the Epson P5000, use the 2880 the highest quality print setting. That's on uh, glossy papers. I would also use the highest quality print setting on matte papers as well. Why is that important? Well, for printers like P700, P900, it turns out on a paper like this, if you use the very highest, the 5760 setting or something like that, um, at higher settings on that, you get a distinct bronzing effect on some papers. Um, noticeable on black and white prints, even on colour prints like this, where you can see the ink and you get a slight colour sheen to it. Now, you have to look carefully, but it's one of those things that once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. What I would say is that unlike the Epson P900, P700, I can happily use the P5000, that's the big 17 inch printer here, I can use that at any settings and I don't see any significant bronzing. It's a different ink set. Now, the finest detail resolution is slightly lower 
on the P5000 that is the P900. So if you need absolute fine detail, then perhaps the P900 would be a better bet. Now, I will be doing a P900, P5000 overview, just a quick comparison of the two uh, at some point. So I'll come back to that then. But what we've got here is a whole load of settings and for best quality printing from the P5000, use the 2880 print mode. Ideally use unidirectional printing, so the print head only prints when it moves one way across. Now, you, there are a lot of adjustments you can make on the printer here, so you can fine tune that. But if you use unidirectional, it eliminates even the slight tendency towards banding. Uh, generally works a lot better. And if you see a setting in the uh, Epson printer driver that says a tick box for finest detail, ignore that. If you actually read the manual, and I doubt many people do, so I get asked this quite a lot, is the finest detail only applies to vector graphics and text. It doesn't work for photos. So the finest detail one, and I will admit, I've looked at it myself and thought, oh, should I tick finest detail? No, apparently makes no difference. So there you have it. Have a look at the details in the article. Um, there are so many numbers involved in all of this that I'm, I'm not even going to attempt to go through it in the video, other than to say on the P5000, the better the print settings you use in the driver, the better, it's difficult to see, um, the better the print quality. I know it makes a difference for some people, but the other thing is, if you have an image which at the size you want to print it has, let's say, 483 pixels per inch resolution. Some people would say, ah, well, you have to reduce that down to 300 to print it or 360 to print it. No. What my experiments here, and I always say actual experiments trump what you think ought to be. My experiments here suggest that if you have an image at 487 pixels per inch of real resolution with detail in it, send that detail to the printer. More than about 700, the benefits drop off. But if you have a very, very high resolution image, make use of that detail. Um, I say that's one another thing that's covered in the article. Anyway, hope that's of interest. I will be doing this test for all the printers I review in future. Um, I've done this for the Epson P5000, P700, 900. I've also done it for the Pro, the Canon Pro 300 and Pro 200. There are links I'll put below in the notes for this. Anyway, I hope that's of use to somebody. Uh, please feel free to ask questions uh, if you've got any details that you want to know or any suggestions of things. Uh, it is something, it's one of those myths that sat around in photography for years that you need to resize your prints to magic numbers or something like that. My feeling is you don't. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching.